2009, level one, that means freshman, sophomore. Number nine says find the next number in the sequence. Five, five, eight, 16, 31, 55, the length. So again, sequences, sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. Some of you might already see the answer, some of you have no clue. I'm going to show you the way to get the answer when you have no clue. All right, so there's a set, all right? Get, get, get it over here on the positive side of my board. And I can start by saying, well, what's the pattern? I see it jumps 0, it jumps 3, it jumps 8, it jumps 15, it jumps 24. So I'm probably going to take the time and draw out the difference. I'm taking 5 minus 5. Here's 8 minus 5, 3. 16 minus 8, 8. 31 minus 16. And this is important on your scratch paper to keep it really organized. If you're struggling with this, make sure you don't make a math mistake here. All right, because math mistakes is the number one killer. A lot of times you know what you're doing and you get in a hurry. Don't hurry. There's not much use to hurry. All right, 0, 3, 8, 15, 24. Maybe I don't see the pattern still. So I'll do the net math again. 3, 5, 7, 24 minus 15, 9. I think you better see it now. At the blue level, you see three, five, seven, nine. We know the next one has to be 11. 24 plus 11 is what's here. That is obviously 35. 55 plus 35 then is the answer. And you see, we're really careful not to make a math mistake. We get this far, I get 60 plus. 90. And again, sequencing works nicely if you work down to find the proper pattern. You can always work and go level after level. Keep practicing, all right, and have fun.